Hey. Are you even listening? Hey, bastard! Hey, you listening? What? Damn right! Nagito, I'm talking to you. <gasps> Am I? What? Huh? Jeez! Don't hum me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> oh, you were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I've been listening to you. Nekmar was killed, right? I'm playing as Nagito? What the fuck? Then the body discovery announcement was referring to him. Damn it. Out of everyone here, it had to be Nakamaru. Damn it! After what he did, to, uh, after what he went through to come back to us. Damn it. Oh, it's a fool. It's, it's a fuck. How the fuck do I say that word? God damn it. Fuck you, Gundam. It's tantamount to be killed twice, truly. He was a man burdened by terrible misfortune. Hey. Okay, so now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if we head back and fix the elevator? Ah, is it alright that we wait a bit before you do that? We should. Did you call for Get me? the uh, Makuma file. <gasps> oh shit, he's here. Now then. It seems like you guys finally noticed the incident has taken place, so this is for you. Quit being bread and milk. Thank you, Monokuma. And there's a bonus item. It's the Monokuma file. Do your best. Come, satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best to the investigation. Unlimited power. <laughs> Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? <laughs> Whatever, man, just eat. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. Y you're right. It's okay if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you while you're at it? What is it? Well, I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Think. Uh, wait. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True, there's no doubt that the killer is responsible, but it seems as though he made a huge mistake. There's no way that the symbols of hope will give up because of a little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the tr class trial to start. We need to do everything we can in our end to prepare- wait, what? On our end to prepare for the class trial. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. Fine. It seems that we too shall begin the investigation on our end, though it remains unclear how much we can do. I mean, I would say we can start by checking Nekomaru's room. <laughs> Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end with the mere child play. Oh, I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped up for the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. And such beauty. There's no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. So, we need to be grateful towards Nekomaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well, regardless. Whose side should I be on for this case? The killer? Or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face the case mysterious properly if I'm going to find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> I'm playing as Kazuichi. I was about to say Kazuichi. Why did I say that? I'm playing as Komaeda. Hey, you guys. Why don't you try rearranging uh, the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can probably understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objections. Proceed. Then, let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we can participate in Monokuma's Tai Chi, right? Damn right! Since we're staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the meeting sp spot at Grape Tower, we need to use the elevator first and go to Grape House. That was before 7am, since it was right before Monokuma's Tai Chi. Man. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside from the Tower of Strawberry Hall. But when we actually got there, the button on the hall door was broken. Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so Fihiko suggested that we use the phone and call Grape House. This too. And that was everything that happened this morning. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. But then, how was Nekomaru able to go to Grape House? I mean, Great Tower. Well, obviously, he went before the elevator was disabled. And when was that? Ew. Idiot, if I knew that, I would, it wouldn't be difficult. Well, No, we might know the time he went to Grape Tower. Are you serious? Seriously? I... It was around sunrise that when I saw him going to the first floor. What? 
you mean you personally witnessed Nekamaru going to the Grape Tower? Hey, hey! When was the sunrise? Was it before the rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? After, uh, ring right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did the clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either? Seriously, what thing? That thing was super loud. Huh? That's weird. Hmm. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys ever be on the same wavelength as trash like me. Hmm. Looks like this is leading to an interesting development. Okay. Looks like the game quite interesting. I need to access which part. Okay, well, I was just gonna go and check Nekomar's room. Alright, Kazuichi, let's see what you gotta say. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? The stuff about the rumbling noise and rain clock. What was that all about? Ooh. Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Think you're actually taking this time to explain to me. Uh. Huh? Hmm, so that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. It was a dark and stormy night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard the huge sound. Ah! What the hell? It sounded super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And as I went down the hall towards the lounge... Hey! Hey, what are you, what doing? Are you doing? Oh, wait. <laughs> it's voiced. This rock is... It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Don't go making all that noise so suddenly! It's not me! The wall clock just started ringing! I was just trying to stop it! Then hurry up and stop it already! I, I know! I'm in the middle of doing that! And, and that's when the sound finally stopped. Ah... Uh. Man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? My metal, my mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You! Fiyahiko, was it not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You must have rushed over after hearing the sound, but you sure seem to get pretty f here pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence? Hmm. Huh? What? Do you doubt me? Hey! Whatever, I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Aw, man! Man, thanks to Fuyuhiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Kablam! Huh? Huh? What the hell was that sound? What's going on? R earthquake This pressure... It didn't... I didn't feel any shock. Hey, 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 hey! There's hey. no way this building's gonna collapse, right? Hey. Hey, Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. Hmm. And that's what happened. I see. So you're the one who was who was clinging to Fuyuhiko. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what you got out of it, Nagita. That's obviously wrong. That's not the important part. And what happened afterwards? Did you guys get separate? Hey. Get separate? Oh, did you separate? We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also. And not just that. We all felt really weak. So we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Mm, I see. Yep, what you said now is extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought of a suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice any alarm that was so loud. Everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, the same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Are you? Hey! You better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us. Of course I'm not. For now. Hey, hey, hey! What, what the hell is with the for now line? It was making us even more worried. Anyways, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first, and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to the case? Truth bullet! Komaeda has a truth bullet! What the hell? Alright, Fihiko. Hey, you said that you witnessed Nakamura at sunrise, right? Can you explain to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. It turned out I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey. And then when it happened, I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. 
when I struck my head out with a huge lunge. Hm. I saw Nakamura's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mastered the mustard. I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey! But why wouldn't Nakamura wander off so easily in the morning? I. I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't gonna get any sleep. So I just sat in the lo uh, lounge. I just sat in the lounge, staring off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And then that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nakamaru until just now. Then from the time you saw Nakamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time. But what were you doing during that time? By chance, you were thinking about everything that happened so far and getting choked up. What? What? Huh? Was I right? Of course not, asshole! You're completely wrong! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Pekka or something. But that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Damn, Komaeda, that was pretty cold. What the hell, man? Seriously. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed informations, beside Gundam, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Fihiko witnessed Nakamura at 5 a.m., then the time Nakamura apparently went down the first floor, at 5.30 the alarm clock started ringing, and when that happened, you two woke up, left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fihiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nakamaro during those noise. If so, that must have been Nakamaro's final scream before his breath, before he breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on, if Nakamaro died when he heard when we heard the sound. Does that mean we have an alibi? Alibi. I mean, when we heard the rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know. If that's when the killer murdered Nekamaru, then we have solid alibi. I get it. Can't argue with that. Hmm, might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding the rumbling noise. Uh, hmm, a rumbling noise, hmm? Didn't something heavy fell or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing that I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. We haven't... Wait, what? Hey, haven't we talked enough? I think I should really repair the elevator soon. Oh yeah, you still here? Huh? Once the elevator is fixed, I'm gonna let you... I'm not gonna... Wait, what? I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it. And so Kazuichi ran downstairs complaining for some reason. Jeez. So, what should we do now? Ah, oh, there's something I wanted... Uh, something I wanted you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clock on the first floor lounge of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard! Fine, but why did you ask me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate myself, but... By the time the elevator is fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? huh? Anyways, I'm counting on you. Uh, the bastard doesn't make sense. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. Oh, shit! I can't let them face the danger. I must be the para who- What the fuck? Did I say that right? Paria? Para? Mm? What the hell is that word? Who goes to the place? We gotta go to the final death room! That's it, I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall, just in case it might be good to check out and make sure that they're really blocked off. I'm playing as fucking Komaeda. What the hell? Alright, so this is the button. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open and I can ride it. 
but something happens when I press it, it looks like it's definitely broken. I mean, not something, nothing happens. Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Ah, uh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see the silver cover under the button? It looks like the elevator control pa panel. They probably opened it and messed up with the settings, but the cover is locked, so they wouldn't be able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Hmm, or maybe there's any tool in the building. Nah, there shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with the tool anyways. The control panel on the side wasn't the one that was forced open. I see. It's the control panel on Grape House side that was broken then. Yeah. If the one on the in, on the one on the side isn't broken, the only thing I can think of, I'm pretty sure that they should be controlled panel over there too. Plus the elevator is stuck on the Grape House side. Wouldn't that mean that the last person who used the elevator went to Grape House? Uh. Yep, it's official. The, ele the elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, hey I don't have any time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. You Jeez, I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? What the fuck? Komaeda, where'd you get that? Whoa! This is a multi-tool. Where the fuck? What? Why do you have something like this? I had it with me before I arrived at the fourth island. If we're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? Are you serious? A guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time. Huh? Is there something wrong? Uh. It's nothing. Huh, Kazuji? You probably feel like shit after you fucking accused Hajime because Komaeda said something. Meanwhile, Komaeda had a knife in his pocket that he was sliding in the back of your fucking neck. Then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now. But in exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? What? I want you to get on your hands and knees and bark like a dog. <laughs> the multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. Uh, what the hell for? Well, to be honest, there's something I still don't understand. Regardless, the structure of this building. So please, I really need the information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Holy shit! I'm yawning. Huh? I don't really get it, but, well, as long as I just check out the compass, I don't really mind. I'm glad then I'll let leave the rest to you. Cool. Man, that's cool. Hey, Gundam. Bye, Gundam. You're useless. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Is the strawberry hall door at least tower? The button is broken, there's no way to open it. As I recall, based on what Fuyuhiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of the door is also barred with chains. Chains? I keep saying that word like that. I mean chains. They must have been really cautious to go through the trouble of bearing, uh, bearing, barring the door from the other side. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The killer intent, I can think of only one explanation. Ah, Gundam. Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well! Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Yeah, that was probably it. Wow, Gundam. You're just full of nonsense. Just as I thought. There's no mistake in it. The elevator and strawberry hall door looks like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person, they should still be at Grape House, but... Nah, it's too soon for me to answer that bullshit. But I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I am finished investigating that room. Hmm, time to go and investigate that room. Let's go. The final dead room. Only those who win the life-threatening game containing, uh, contained within will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekamaru's killer had been to this place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building besides the knife that I had in my pocket. Regardless of the weapons used to kill Nekamaru, the killer must have obtained it there. 
If that's the case, I should get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. Holy shit. I see, so this is the final dead room. It feels a little airy. Hope I don't get scared. Clack. Did the door just lock? I see. The door sign automatically lock. It's not it will turn back and stay unlocked, huh? What the hell? Why are you here? And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. I figure you turn up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected to see you here. Nagito? Huh? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I heard the body discovery announcement and I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside. You're a fool from head to toe. I'm truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um. Get in your way? The life-threatening game is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can get out of here, right? And besides, the only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. That's wrong! You're wrong! Nagito's not trash at all! He's pure evil! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy. Are you sure that you're not just excited? You know, isn't he excited to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who should... Uh, for the sake of those who shoulder their hope? Now then, about the so-called life-threatening game. Alrighty! Now you tell, if there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. Bring it on, escape game. Sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. What the hell, really? We're playing an escape game? God damn it! Alright, well let's check these drawers. Drawers? 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 Hmm. These, these. This thing has a little, has a lock on it. Okay. Pliers. I'll take those. Ah, uh, uncompressed password. Does that say smiles? S M I L E. Uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, no. S M I L. Yeah. Uh, the first letter of the day of the week is probably the password. I doubt it's that simple. Uh, we got this TV here. Television. Looks pretty broken. Okay. What's in here? There's gotta be something in that Monokuma doll. Huh? There's something under the bed. Looks like the bed is fixed to the floor. Can't even move it. Just something that long, huh? Well... Ah, oh, co-hanger. Might be useful for something. Hey man, in the middle of playing this game, I've been playing a lot of Zero Escape. So don't fuck with me. Okay. Well, under the bed, under the bed, under the bed. Under the bed we go. You want me to punish you guys? Hmm? Looks like the plush talks whenever you squeeze Kills, the tummy. Chills! Kills! Oh, uh. Huh, what an advertisement. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so. Back under the bed. Hmm, I can reach it. It looks like best. Move it. There's something thin and long. Yes, you can use this. How do I select using this? Oh, there we go. Triangle. Use. On. Bed. There's something shining under the bed. I can reach it. Something long. Use it on the fucking god damn it! Not. Do I gotta press triangle again? No. Do I gotta press square? No. That's how you save your game. Circle. Nope. Really? Really, Nagito? You're that dumb. You're that dumb and stupid that you can't use the hanger to. Maybe they want me to use the hanger and the pliers to thin it out? Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
Now we should be able to get get that. Got a key. Shut up, Nomi. I'm working here. I'm working here. What's in here? Scissors. Man, you used to cut the iron bars. You're joking, right? It was supposed to be an indirect hint. I'm sorry. Okay. What's this six about? There's something written on blood on the wall. It's number six. Blood symbol doesn't long since, but maybe it combines them, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Well, I don't know. What's over here? Hmm. Looks like the Hope Academy's symbol. It's a laptop. Uh, looks like it's on, but it's locked and can't really access it. Looks like... Put a password. I don't know. Fuck. Fuck you, Minomi. Got a three here. Wonder what this three is for. Something written in blood on the wall. Looks like it's number three. Don't make sense. Combine with something. Watch the news. Huh. Watch the news in blood. What? It might be cursed just looking at that. Huh. It's just a secret code. Plus, it's a pretty common one. Huh? Secret code? Now I can tell. Did something happen? To know what it means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. What? Is it? Is it really a common riddle? Pretty sure I have to input four digit password. I have a secret plan if you put in 999 password combinations. Oh, shut up. I have the clients while well, password are open. I feel bad as a hint. Let's try and put in password. Aww. I thought, thought the password would be 10,000. Never mind. Okay, hmm. Watch the news. I never heard of this riddle. It says, watch the news in blood. Now, nope, just repeats dialogue. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Watch the news. I don't get it. I don't get it. I may be too dumb for this. Because I've never heard of that riddle all day in my fucking life. So this passcode probably you get from the laptop. So what would I need to use these scissors on? I'll cut you up. Cut you up real good. Oh. I am actually cutting it open. Holy oh, shit. I didn't need any grannies. What a loud thing. Cut it open. Got some batteries. Tame batteries. Cool. Maybe I can use it in here. Television looks broken. Use the batteries on television. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. What can I use these batteries on? No, man. You need batteries? Do you need batteries to work? Maybe maybe I get you to work if I use batteries. Uh. Battery. battery. Hmm. If you think about it logically, the letters that are written on top of here is hint. What do you mean watch it? Wait, what? What? The letters written on top of here is a hint. What are you talking about letters written on top of here? Oh, talking about watching the news? If you think about it logically, what do you mean watching the news? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I don't understand what you're telling me here. Uh, shit. If you don't know something, don't work yourself, feel free to speak to me anytime. Well, yeah, I don't want to say I need a hint for this, but I've never heard of this riddle a day in my life. Watch the news, what the hell are you... Like, the fuck does that mean? Hmm. Looks like nothing suspicious, if those letters written on the wall are really oh, suspicious. Oh, That's right. you're right, I knew the whole time the safe is really suspicious. It might be something I missed. I should look at the safe first and those letters written in blood. Yeah, 
Uh, safe first. Well, this is the safe, right? Yeah, of course this is the safe. I'm not crazy. Look at the safe. And look at the letters written in blood. I know those are connected, but I don't know what the fuck the riddle watch the news means. What the hell is that? Mm. Oh, that's right. I should look at the safe first and those letters written in blood. It says, watch the news. Hmm. Maybe it's the word news. Maybe news is a uh, rework those words. I mean, we rework those letters. I'm having a dumb moment here. Really dumb. It's probably really, really dumb. Uh. <laughs> It's a common riddle. What the fuck are you talking about? I've never seen that riddle a day in my life. Huh. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Watch the news is written in blood. I... Ah, uh, Jesus, holy shit. Ugh, god damn it. Let me think, let me think about this. Let me think. May like it, it could be just an just a like anagram for something. You know. Or maybe if you rework the letters, it could be a number. Fucking this bullshit. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> Watch the news. Watch the news. See, cause my mind would think something like like the N is a nine, E is the E probably stands for eight, but then you're like, oh what the hell does W mean? Bullshit. I don't, hmm, I really don't think I'm doing this. So look at this and then look at this. God damn. Let's confirm one more thing, letters. Let's confirm one more time the letters news shows the direction. What? You mean news as in like north, east, west, south? North, east, west, uh, oh, oh, north, okay, wait, what, north, what do you mean, no, I, I'm, wait, it might be directions, just north, east, west, south, what is it, south, did I say south, really, did I just do that, ugh, but I don't know what the north would be, I don't know, no. I came in from here, so I guess north would be three, uh, North, east, fucking, I don't see no letter here. No, four, seven, six. Or maybe this is north. So, north, east, I don't fucking know. Alright, let's, let's just try six, three, seven, four. Maybe that, maybe that, right? Uh, six, three, seven, four. Uh, okay. How about six, 
Seven. Four. Three. Leave it to me! Three. Four. Seven. Six. God damn it, kill yourself! Watch the news, what the hell? It has to be one. Yeah. It was a four. Um. Number four. Looks like a different symbol than me. Like, for instance, a symbol that you often see on maps. It looks like a four, but it looks like a symbol that you see on maps. Hmm. So maybe this... This is supposed to tell me? Which way to look first? Um. So the four would be south. So seven, six, seven, six, three, four, seven, six, three, four, or seven, six, four, three. Seven. Six, four, three, no, alright, well, seven, god damn it, six, three, four, Arrgh, this is bullshit, come on, well maybe this is north, so it'll be four, Three, six, seven, wait. North, east, west, south. Four, three, seven, six. Wait, no, fourth, it will be four, three, six, seven. Wait, what? Oh, I'm confusing myself. God damn it. Fuck. Four, three, six, seven? Leave it to me! Shut up, boost me. God damn it. Four, three. Ah. Uh, ha. Huh. Leave it to me! Three, four, six. Uh, oh, fucking that. God damn it. It's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. I'm probably doing what what the hell all right so let's say this is north all right so the first thing you see is four and north east here wait no that's not east this is east what the hell is wrong with me fucking well let's try it let's try four let's try four six Four six three seven. 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 God damn it! Let's confirm one more time. The letters news show the direction. Eh? Maybe. Leave it to me. All right. Well, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. You're bullshitting me. There's some random blood. Number seven. Blood. Number six. Got a three. Is there like another one that I'm missing and this four is not supposed to be anything? Anything on the bed frame? No, I don't think so. Fucking watch the news. I would think that that's like compass directions, right? North, east, west, south. But, uh,. Shit. 
I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I wait, hold up. Shut up. Shut up. Wait, 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 wait. I think I fucked up. Like I'm sitting here and I'm I'm just thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. What if this isn't a six? And this is a nine because the line is up here. That's bullshit. That's bullshit if that's true. So it would be so okay, wait, hold up. Four nine three seven. That would be bullshit. Four nine three. Maybe I'll put it in the wrong order. Seven, three. Leave it. Maybe it doesn't start with a four. Maybe it starts with a three instead. Or it starts with a seven. Who knows? Shit. Fuck. Damn it. But I don't I don't think that's a six anymore. I think that's a fucking nine. That might be a nine. Something written in blood on the wall. Number six. Sure, it's number six. Um, because they have a little dash up here, or a little, or that's just like something that they just did. Oh, uh, shit. All right, well, this is the part where I look up the answer. <laughs> uh, I tried my best. I tried my best. I tried my best. To game facts I go. Each light corresponds to the digit directly below it, with the final flash being worth eight. The arrow points towards north. How would you tell the difference between a six or a nine on a die? So that is a nine. What the fuck do you mean? Okay, I didn't find the passcode, right? But that's what I found. Something about lights and digits. So probably this? What the hell? Must be unlocking the device where iron bars. Right, but it doesn't seem any buttons to input. No. Looks like it might be under live, uh, doesn't seem to open. Red light on top of the device. Okay, check the red light out. Under this light. Under this lid, but it doesn't seem to open. Uh, this is red light on top of the device. No, 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 I don't... Huh. Okay, question, what the hell are these batteries used for? <laughs> Laptop! Okay, well... Shit. They bamboozled me. Usumi, they got me. Man, Usumi, you're really useless. Uh, shit. Well, it said something about lights and passcodes, but I think it was probably talking about that and not this. So, time to look up the answer again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, shit. God damn it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're fucking back. All right, let me see what the hell this was. Okay, so north. So ignoring the four, I guess. Three, nine, seven, four. I don't, what? I don't get it. I don't... What? 
so... Huh. Okay. Well, I, I just looked up a walkthrough, and it, it's not three nine... Well, I got this right for this being a fucking nine. Apparently this is a five, which I guess I can see it. But that's the most jacked up looking five I ever fucking saw in my life. Uh... Yeah, apparently this is a fucking five. Cause... What the hell? I don't... Um. I don't know if this is a 4 or a 5, but apparently you're supposed to enter a 5. Uh, I don't get it. You're supposed to enter in... 3957, right? 3957. Like, goddamn. I don't know where the 5 came from. Digital camera USB stick. Don't know what the hell this is for. Alright. So, I'm gonna put the batteries in the fucking camera, right? Boom! Use digital camera now! Alright, cool. What do I need the camera for? A USB stick. Use it here. As I thought, looks like it was able to unlock with the USB stick. Now I'll put the next password. Uh, maybe a memo inside the desk drawer or something. I got it, first letter of days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, meaning it's MTWTFSS. Error? Huh? What's wrong? I doubt it's that simple. Alright. Should check the picture inside. Motherfucker! Alright, well, you know what that means. It's fine. Ah. God damn it. Based on the memo picture, this kind of answers must be. Oh shit. Oops. I didn't I didn't commit that to memory. Back out. How do I back out? I'm gonna click OK, get an error. Huh? No 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 shut up. Shut up, shut up. Don't talk to me, use me. Okay. S M V E M G A V E M J V E M J V E M J S M V E M J Okay. We have we have, uh, we have, oh god, oh no, S, M, this thing, like, it, the way it scrolls is weird, V, E, come on, S, J S And we should click OK. That should work, right? Yeah! What the hell is this? Oh, this uh Arthalo what the hell? Uh. Arthalo. The fuck does that mean? What are you telling me right now, Komaida? Uh. One, two, three. What the hell? Oh, so this is what the flash and light things are for. God damn it. Um. Uh, the only thing I can input numbers into? The laptop, I guess? Wait, what? What do they want me to put numbers into? What do you... Into this? I, I don't wait no I think I, I think I put that in wrong wait hold up I think I put that in wrong nine eight seven five
Huh. Did you hear something? He's unlocking the device and unlocking the device. What? Okay. Is the door open? Oh wait, no, that's unlocked. Okay, that's cool. Well, we have we have the, the key where the key go. I thought we had a key. Oh, well, what's this for? Is this just like a button? Huh? Hmm. Did we ever get a key? I believe we already searched the room. Well, where's the fucking key at? I used the key to open this drawer. Looks broken. Maybe the laptop? Mm, leave it to me! What do you mean where I got a key at? I got a key from this fucking bear. Am I supposed to have a key? USB maybe? Oh! The USB is a key I guess. That's a fucking gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a fucking gun. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, with that, our powers combined, we were able to clear the- Shut up, Usumi. You were the least helpful ever. Wow. You were just... Well, what I don't understand is that I, I didn't understand the stupid comp- What the hell is that noise? I didn't understand the stupid compass letter things, but I understand the stupid lights. Within like two seconds. Maybe because fucking Zero Escape did the same thing already. Uh, what does it mean it won't open? Clatter, clatter. Ooh. Are you serious? It's not opening? Didn't I just tell yes. you that? It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from isn't opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. Could, huh? Could Is there any chance that the thing I found earlier was just a joke and around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Um. Hmm, well, I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Hurry up and show it to um. me. Uh, yeah, here it is. So the mystery of the final dev room, and you'll obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game, it's life-threatening roulette. P.S. You're hell reliable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I prepare special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. Huh? I see. So this is what it meant. Uh, what does it mean? I mean, the game's up until we just open the act. From this point on, it's the real performance. Huh? I gotta play Russian roulette? With myself? Life threatening roulette. This is probably like Russian roulette. Yep. That's a fucking gun. I see a gun came out of here. Which means I have to use it to play Russian roulette, right? Hey. Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't. you can't. No matter what you do, it's too dangerous. Hey, Minomi, there's something I want to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey. Uh, in that case, load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it after the gun. After that, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. Wait, you can't do that. There's only one in six chance you'll die. A one in six chance of death, which means the failure rate is only one in six. Hey, is that the rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there's one in six chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Removing one bullet, one bullet, removing one bullet from the gun and then using it while there are still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there will be one six chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make it more thrilling game. Yes. What are you saying? Let give it a go. Oh, what? Hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? I'm the ultimate lucky student, bitch. What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. That's probably the stupidest answer I ever heard anyone say in my life. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, 
there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? You're fucking insane, Nagito. Holy shit. Please, stop! 